I am a private, deaf, senior citizen living in the United States on the outskirts of Seattle by birth from Pittsburgh. I'm not trying to form a personality cult. I don't need anybody to tell me what's been happening. I've been taunted with dares from the establishment certifying that they released both AIDS and COVID, that it's an alliance of Trump and Putin that has the authority of Israel and what I call the sandbaggers, which is a generation above me. If you want to understand what Hamas initiated against Gaza, all you have to do is look at the sandbaggers. Mick Jagger going to Tel Aviv to perform was not merely in solidarity with the Israelis and Zionists was also in solidarity with Hamas. What the generation above me, the Woodstock generation, the people who were being drafted into Vietnam when I was a toddler, have in common is that they crush children. The same people who rob deaf people in Pittsburgh at ATMs are the intellectual vanguard the Black Panther Party, people like Gerald Horn, Nelson Harrison, people in black studies promoting their obviously deranged reading of contemporary events in their own favor at the expense of people who are just ducking for cover. There's nothing that they can say to undo the evidence that they were involved with Reagan in a revenge attack for the Axis, that they spent all those years that they were complaining about Jimmy Curry promoting wars in Afghanistan and Vietnam, while poor Jimmy Curry was just trying to find a couch he could sleep on in Pittsburgh or Maine washing dishes, two full-time jobs, and now has Parkinson's. Don't be fooled. These professors of learning are dishonorable peers. How could you find more dishonorable peers? I don't think it's possible to find them. To abuse a deaf person in such psychopathic direction with such horrible and cruel obsession for no reason because he's deaf and doesn't understand what's going on that's the long and short of it